YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper. Today I'm doing some seed starting using one of these multi-section seed starting things. I've had this one for a couple of years and um, what I always fill it up with is just garden soil that I sort of sift out. So uh, just toss this on the ground, I take a shovel and what I, I use for, I'll put that back and show you this first, what I use for sifting it out is I, I took a couple of buckets and ah, put a piece of metal mesh between them. So I cut holes in the bottom, one hole's uh, bigger than the other. This drops in, one with a smaller hole, and the one with a slightly larger hole. They could be the same size hole I suppose too. Actually no, I, I made them about the same size. Misinformation. Fake news. They fit together just like that and uh, works to be a nice sift. This is uh, just um, wire lath for like uh, stuccoing, that kind of thing. So I grab a little soil, drop it right in there, and and just sift it right over. I don't I don't like to put a lot in there. Not only does it make it easier, but also the dirt doesn't pack down as much. It tends to go through a lot easier. So I just shake it back and forth, up and down, and it gets it all broken up to fit in there. And I've done that for a couple of years. I'm sure that there are some superior potting soils that you can buy at the store. They may be lighter and fluffier. Maybe have more uh, nutrients, organic material in them. But honestly, I've used this for many years, seems to work fine. And seeds don't really even need that much uh, organic material in the soil when they first start off because they're getting most of their nutrients from the seed itself anyway. So it doesn't even have to be rich with compost or anything like that. So you can save a bit of money, be more self-sufficient, self-reliant, get your dirt right from your garden. DIY. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.